Sorry, Joining me right now is ISRO Chairman Dr. V. Narayan. Sir, thank you so much for speaking to NDTV. Sir, firstly, if you could provide us an update on the Gaganyan mission, sir. So, Gaganyan mission, uh, as I told, um, it's a technology intensive mission. And uh, right now, I will say um, uh, something around 90% developments are completed. In fact, uh, Mr. Rajarajan is here, responsible for the entire launcher uh, for human rating. His uh, department is uh, totally responsible. We have completed the human rating of the launch vehicle. And the environmental control safety system development is going on in advanced stage. And uh, crew escape system development is almost nearing completion. In nutshell, uh, we have completed almost uh, 85 to 90 percent development. And we are going for the uncrewed mission. And uh, three uncrewed missions we have to accomplish before going for the actual crewed mission. So we are working towards the uncrewed mission now. So the much spoken about the Chandrayaan-4 mission. So what's the update on that? Chandrayaan-4 is a sample return mission. Uh, unlike Chandrayaan-3, which was a lander mission, it is going to be a sample return mission. And there, um, two modules has to be, have to be lifted off and docked in space. Towards that, recently, we have also completed a docking experiment, successfully accomplished. And right now, the project the configuration of the um, uh, entire satellite is completed, design is nearing completion and uh, infrastructure build up is start up, started. In fact, project is already approved and we are working towards meeting the targets. So, but this brings me to question you about the Bath Space Station as well. So, if you could provide more details on that. What's no, this is uh, Honorable Prime Minister has given a guideline to build a, a Bharat Andri Station uh, by 2035. It will be a five module construction, 52 mm -hmm. ton is the mass of the station. Mm -hmm. So, which you, are, you know we cannot lift off using a single rocket. It will be lifted off as five modules and the first module we have got the project approval and that will be placed in the orbit by 2028. So, we are working towards that. So, uh, just with the word rocket that reminds me to question you, you were also having an interaction. You said about the new rocket manufacturing as well, sir. So, if you could throw more light on it, sir, what is in no, the I plan? I think we will ask uh, the um, launch vehicle director. Uh, Mr. Rajarajan, who is uh, working um, uh, day and night towards that uh, NGLV, so probably we will hear him. So then I take it to him, sir. Thank you for speaking to NDTV. Yes. Sir, so if you could throw a light on it about the new rocket making, sir. Yeah. Uh, as Honorable Prime Minister has told, we have a good lunar mission as well as planned. By 2040, we had to have our Indian on landing on the moon. So towards that, we are organizing a new vehicle which can take almost is to lift 75,000 kg of payload into the low earth orbit capable vehicle has to be play, to be configured and designed. So th we are in the beginning stage of the design stage which will be finalized and put up and corresponding activities accordingly a third launch pad is also is being established at the three recorder. So that's what you're doing. So thank you. So my very last question to you, sorry sir, for taking much live time. Just one Mangal Yan sir, so if you could give an update. No, I, think, I, I think let us give opportunity for others and All I will right, come sir. back. Thank you. There you see, that's the ISRO chairman uh, speaking to NDTV. He says that lot is in the plan, lot is in the box as well. All that they really look forward to is everything coming into the plan, execution and success. With video journalist Govind Ritu Raj Prohit for NDTV in Bengaluru.